there are three biblical ways that God helps men we'll take a bit tonight and then we'll finish up please do not forget there are three scriptural ways God helps men every time you cry for help because remember the Bible says let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace remember it says that we may obtain mercy and find help so we can we can find that we can find the grace that provides help even in times of need number one the first way God helps men is by administering his mercy to men the first biblical way God helps a man is by making you a recipient of his mercy. You know a man that has been helped or he's been helped by it is impossible to say you were helped by God and we do not find mercy at the corridor of your life. The mercy of God is what opens up the door to his help. The first way God visits men to help them to assist them to provide possibilities in their life he provides that resource of his mercy someone shout mercy Amen. number two the second way God helps men is by exposing them to the ministry of men the second way God helps men is by exposing the ones in need of help to the ministry of men there is such a thing as the ministry of men the third way God provides help in this kingdom is by granting you access to the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit write it down these are the three biblical ways from Genesis to Revelation every time you find a man who has been helped by god he was exposed to one more or all of these factors number one access to the mercy of god number two access to the ministry of men number three access to the person and the ministry of the holy spirit helped by god by being a recipient of his mercy helped by god by enjoying the ministry of men helped by God by enjoying the rich heritage of the ministry of the Spirit outside of these three factors there is no possibility for man to obtain help from God are we together now so that when you are saying God help me you know what you are asking God help me means God show me mercy God help me means God send a man to my life God help me means reveal the Holy Spirit to me. You see, most believers, the reason why our Christian experience is not rich and constructive is because we say a lot of things and even pray a lot of things without understanding and definition. Are we together? Now when you go to pray and you say, Father, I obtain help. Your mind can partner with the word because you understand what you are saying. There is intelligence to your request. You already understand the dimensions of the help that can come. Help means mercy. Help means man. Help means the spirit of God. Is he not called the helper? That means if you obtain mercy and the ministry of men, and the ministry of the spirit it's like a tripartite signature that will be signed upon your life it will be impossible unmistakable for anyone to doubt where your help and your lifting came from for others you have obtained mercy but you have not enjoyed the ministry of men for others you have not enjoyed the ministry of the holy spirit you do not even know him this is the scope of my discussion with you through this conference we are going to touch a bit on the subject of mercy because many people do not understand the mercy of god i had to study the subject myself 
the mercy of God the ministry of man and the ministry of the spirit there are other people who have ignored the ministry of the spirit simply because he is invisible are we together and so they love the ministry of men and that is wonderful but they will not pay attention to the ministry of the holy spirit because they have not learned they have not been taught the value the value of knowing the holy spirit and walking with the holy spirit It is true that God helps men. Now, let me paint for you very quickly a picture of a man who does not have help in his life. It's important. Who, how do you know a man who is without help? There has to be a way of identifying who has not been helped so that you can help the person by exposing him to the pathway that leads to that help. Is that true? Please look up. Medically, there are many illnesses you can literally look at someone and know that the person is not feeling fine is that true you don't need to be a doctor when you're a doctor or a medical professional it adds it, it's an added advantage because you can know but you can you can you can know that this person is not at the best state of health there are very clear indices are we together no joy no peace restlessness abnormal body temperature loss of appetite are we together the person is probably losing weight the inability to stand strong and several other things complications here and there 